Okay, I'm testing a Chevy Volt cell. This is uh, from 2013, it's two kilowatt hours. The total voltage, um, well, it's about, um, let's see, it's 12 cells, as you can see. So approximately four volts, so the maximum voltage is about 48. Uh, there is a bad cell. You can see the front part here is pretty swollen. The rest of the ones look better. So you'll see what that means when we test it. So zero is gonna be zero, obviously. We got 3.93, and the next one over, so 3.93 is here. The next one over is here, and we still have 3.93. So that, there's a zero volts across that cell. Now let's just move along. I'll call out the numbers. 7.8. Eleven point six seven, uh, fifteen point five one, nineteen point three, twenty three point two, twenty seven point zero, thirty one point zero. 35.5, 40.0, and the last one brings us up to 45, sorry, 44.5. So the reason why some of these voltages are high is because I was trying to balance the battery, assuming there were 12 cells, but it turns out there were only 11 cells functioning. The which cell would that be? I guess the second cell, because the first cell has, has a voltage. It's when you go to the second cell that there's no voltage. Now let's just check the voltage across that second cell just to see what it reads. So you can see here we're on two sides of that second cell and we got nothing. That's zero, that's 0 0.0 millivolts. So not a spec of voltage across that, that cell. So that's the problem.